What's up guys, I'm going to do a quick video here and show how I set up actions for saving the paint file along with the spec map to your iRacing cars to speed up the process. Um, first thing you're going to want to do is enable the actions window. Uh, you can do that by clicking the window button in the top of your Photoshop window and click actions. Now that will pop up a new window. I've got mine pinned over here on the right hand side. Once you have that, you're going to create a new group. Um, you'll have default actions from Photoshop. I delete those for uh, cleanliness, so that's why mine's blank. Um, so you're going to create a group, name it iRacing, press OK. Then you're going to create one for each particular car. So in this case, we're doing the Camaro Z01 A car. So you'll hit the little new page icon, and this will create a new action. I'm going to name mine Camaro ZL1, and click record. First thing you want to do is turn on your spec map, press file, save as, go to your car folder in the documents iRacing paint folder, um, and then you'll select the car that you're doing. Uh, save it as Targa. We're going to do car underscore spec underscore and then your driver ID. In this case, mine is 258990. Press, press save. I always do everything in 24 bit. Press OK. Toggle the spec map group off. Toggle your guides layer off. Uh, excuse me, guides group. This is usually uh, red. Toggle that off, and then you'll save the paint file the same way. And we're going to do car underscore num underscore 258990. Again, 258990 needs to be replaced with your driver ID. Press save, 24 bit, OK. Turn your toggle, turn, toggle your red guides group back on, and press stop. So basically, what you've done is you've created an action that turns on the spec map, saves the spec map, turns off the spec map, turns off the guides layer, or excuse me, guides group, saves the paint file, and then turns the guides group back on. Now, all you'll have to do to do all of that in one easy step is you'll just click the um, action here and then hit the play button. And if everything is done correctly, it will render on the car as such. Now, a couple things to keep in mind. While you're doing the recording, you want your layers to be just like this. In other words, you don't want to have one selected like this because what will happen is when you're doing the recording for the action, if you have the spec map group selected when you toggle it on and off, instead of it actually looking for the custom spec map group name, it will say toggle current layer. So you want to make sure that's not selected. Otherwise, whatever layer you have toggled or selected, when you press the play button on your action, it will toggle that layer instead of your actual spec map or guides group. So when you're recording, make sure you don't have anything selected like that. So you can just click in the gray area down below to deselect and then do your recording. Um, if you guys have any questions about this, let me know. Uh, hopefully this will help. I know it helps me a ton. It saves a tremendous amount of time. And when you're doing small edits and you need to save the paint file over and over and over, uh, it gets really uh, repetitive and can consume a lot of time. Uh, so anyways, hope that helps. Uh, again, if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.